Time for a bit of surgery today. Welcome back to the show. If you've been here before, this is my <laughs> almost 100 pound radio control Primal RC Mega Truck. I've done many conversions to this thing. These are full size ATV ramps up onto the operating table where I'll be switching out the motor and the ESC today. These are 15 inch diameter, full diameter from tread to tread, uh, 15 inch two ply, two stage snow blower tires that I modified, uh, sculpted them, scalped them, did the whole deal. Got the body on a little funky right now just because we're gonna be taking it off. Having a look under the hood, classic Chevy. One of my all-time favorite vehicles. It just looks gnarly. And I spent the big bucks on this one. I actually wanted to wait because Hobby Wing had been coming out with the new Easy Run Max 5. Uh, and uh, ah, waterproof, easy setup with a unusual choice you might think for a monster truck, but this is 650 kV. I've got an 800 kV motor in there right now. Censored, brushless, waterproof motor. I'm not going for overall speed. You see the higher the kV, the higher top speed you're gonna get. In fact, this truck itself is geared to go slow. And uh, I would say a 650 kV uh, motor for torquing these tires nice low end is what I am looking for grunt power The 800 kV I have in there right now is great. It's been fine, but the limitation I have is I'm limited to 8s lipo and I don't want to do that anymore 12s lipo is what I'm going to be able to use on this with a lower kV motor for me That is a match made in heaven so far, I believe I'm the only one in the world that has made a uh, Primal RC trail truck. And uh, the only reason I mention price is because we've seen people get scammed with these things before online, and I hate seeing that. So it's either I'm having to do bragging and tell you how much something like this is, or I have to risk you guys getting scammed. They ain't cheap, but all metal axles, my NSD RC servos in here, the RS2500 V2s all the way around. I've got four of them in there for a total of 600 pounds of steering torque. Crazy front and rear steer. Now, 8S LiPo, no thank you. We are done with that, so I'm gonna start stripping it out. Here is my beautiful, what used to be known as RC Max, my 80cc gas engine. I must have used it for, oh, just a few runs. Such a beautiful piece. Now here is the boat motor. This is a boat trailer winch that I put in here, right? I dehoused it. This thing alone weighs 20 pounds. People are like, how does this machine weigh uh, 90 pounds? And, and really that's why I have the dual suspension uh, on all four corners. These giant metal axles, giant steel drive shafts, giant chain driven transmission on the inside here. Shout out to Rhino USA, uh, a proud American owned family run business. Uh, big shout out to Primal RC for creating such a monster machine that I was able to really kind of make into my own here. Let's get rid of these batteries here. So it dawned on me, you might be wondering like, why am I switching if everything worked fine with my castle system? And the reason why is because in one of my mud uh, videos, because I love going into the mud with this thing and just slopping around, uh, I had a bit of a smoke show. Steam show, not sure what it was, but bottom line is that my battery was getting hot, one of my four S's, and I thought, geez, you know what? It's just trying to pull too much from the battery, and it's not able to get what it needs. And that's what drove me to actually upgrade this system. Nice and greasy. Just going to inspect that top bearing. You can see I've got tons of grease because I'm always in the water. But I can also see a little bit of slop in this chain. So I already know it's stretching. So it's been quite old. I'll replace it. Small E-clip at the bottom. Ta-da! 
Ta -da -da -da. So it's a duplex chain that's on there. You can see one of my links has popped, so good eye on that. Ew. Then I'll start to release the motor itself. Use a rubber mallet, just give that motor shaft a tap to start to get it separated. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up the motor. So with the conversion, Canadian was close to $700 for this motor and ESC combo. You gotta imagine anything with the United States price is gonna be 30% more Canadian. What the, look at this. Gargantuan beast of a delicious, delicious. Hallelujah, 650 kV. <laughs> so nice. Similar in size, absolutely. There's the entire drive chain assembly. There's the motors that are driving it. I'd like to put this into perspective that for people that know. This is a one tenth scale brushed motor. This is the motor for the Chevy mega truck I have. Okay, let's have a look at the Max 5. I ordered this on AliExpress, by the way, for people that just want to know where do you order your stuff. I take a risk like everybody else. Oh, so nice. Holy son of a... What? Look at this absolute Goliath. What a beautiful speed controller. It ain't no MGM controller's huge 53 horsepower controller, but this is a 12S beauty. Yeah, baby. The size of the capacitors on that 6 to 12S LiPo. Oh, I gotta switch over the conversion plate, but I would have put these in with some Loctite, thread lock. That's all right. I hope, oh shit, I stripped it. Damn it! Throw these screws away. There we go, good. A little bit of heat can go a long way, plus the sharp bit. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of torque. I may break the key here, folks. Yep, I don't want to go yet. Hear the wind howling outside today. It's pretty brutal out there. Happy holidays, everybody, if you guys are watching during the current period of this filming. There you go. That. Beautiful. On to the last four screws. Alright, so on the motor shaft and adapter itself, I noticed I got a bit of rust here where it's supposed to be nice and smooth, so I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down. And with it restored back to shiny, some grease. Cool. 
It's never cool when you break the tip of your freaking uh, right in there. Damn it, right in there. Just the tip. Yeah, but you're not supposed to keep it. I figured to myself, how the... I'm going to get that out of there. Compressed air, my friends. Compressed air. Dudes, what a beast. Unbelievable. And a brand... If you order now, I can throw in this great chain bracelet. <laughs> Duplex chain. this up. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Full. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the gauge on the uh, XLX2 Mamba. The gauge of wire compared to the gauge of wire on the new one. Right, it's almost double the thickness. It may be double the thickness. All right, so it's been a little while since I turned on the camera, but now we have a fresh install. You can't really see it too much, but there is the giant hefty motor right down here. What a freaking beauty. There's the motor on the boat winch that pulls 2,000 pounds of boat on a boat trailer. And here's the motor that runs the truck. Mounted the ESC nice and cleanly up to the module for the 4x4 wireless winch control. Here is the OTA programmer that I picked up with $70 Canadian to help me Bluetooth program this ESC. I assume it's a lot like the Castle Link that I had attached to the ESC which allows me to program it on the fly. And then on the top of this speed controller, there is a port right there, which I'll be plugging this directly into. Six S LiPos. 24, 24, good enough for me right now. Extend ramps back out. Now you understand. Updating my firmware app. Okay, setting the throttle range. Do your calibration. You just let yourself outside. Let's just try to warm it up for a second here. So I got to release the drag brake 30% a little bit too much. Oh, a little bit of jittery. What's going on there? Got a little interference or something. Well, it looks like I got something to work out. Huh. Still, what a bad boy.